Good morning and good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today for this webinar, SAS WMS for 3PL, Seven Perfect Fit Reasons. This is Stephen Katz. I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing here at 3PL Central. And uh, for the next uh, little less than an hour, we'll be talking about uh, SAS WMS. And uh, before we jump into it, let me uh, handle some housekeeping items. If you can't see the full screen, you can hide the control panel by clicking on the little arrow right there at the top of the control panel. Uh, to listen, if you cannot list, hear me right now, for people that are uh, can see the screen but can't, can't hear me, uh, to listen to the presentation, go ahead and dial the number that's on your screen on your control panel. Uh, just know that all lines are muted. And uh, you can ask a question at any time. Just go ahead and click it into the question section and type it in. Um, if I see it, I will jump on it, and if not, I will um, uh, I'll definitely answer all questions at the end of the uh, end of the session. So the agenda for today is uh, first defining what software as a service is and uh, what it means and how it, what it what it is in the marketplace overall, and then uh, covering seven perfect fit SaaS benefits and the SaaS seven benefits that we'll be covering today are listed here. Uh, this is based on a white paper that we did from 3PL Central. So I'll be gen talking in general about the, the SaaS benefits as a, from an industry standpoint. And then uh, specifically uh, have a little bit of uh, information about what 3PL Central offers as, towards the end. And then open it up for question and answer. So with that, let's get started. First, the whole goal of everything that you do as a business is, uh, is is to help grow your business, and that's what we focus on here at 3PL Central. So there's a couple ways to grow your business from a sales standpoint, more customers or more revenue, which is on the left, um, or increase your profit. Um, the way you do that is by cutting expenses. So less expenses helps you, cut, uh, helps you uh, grow your profit, and SaaS WMS specifically for 3PLs, will allow you to do that, and I'm going to break that down. So just the underlying theme here is how can you uh, reduce your expenses, get more profit, and more importantly, and it relates to some of the features of the warehouse management system and such, win new customers and or get more revenue from existing customers. So this underlying theme is going to be a thread throughout the, today's session. So first, why is the world ready for SaaS WMS? First, there is now worldwide logistics needs. I think everybody on the call today, um, if you're not currently uh, doing business directly with somebody receiving product from overseas, you're either shipping overseas um, as a parcel shipment, uh, you may be handling um, uh, import or export for somebody, but the need, logistics is no longer um, within the four walls or even domestic within the United States or your own country. Um, the world is much bigger place. And that need, per, it has a need for visibility. The second reason that SAS WMS is the world's ready for it is that our, the internet infrastructure is now much more reliable and fast. So a reliable internet infrastructure and a fast inf internet structure is, uh, is, is something that's a foundation here at, and the ability that, that we now have enhanced security and hosting infrastructure that supports a, a web-based or a centrally hosted solution. So these three key elements in the Venn diagram, in addition to that computer and the workforce is now computer and internet savvy. Um, as a generation of no computers who did not grow up with computers but learned computers while they were at the workforce uh, is retiring now, everybody that comes into the workforce and uh, you, even midway through the workforce now, our computer and internet savvy workforce is a workforce. So all those things combine a worldwide need for logistics um, and the need to see outside of the warehouse, a reliable and fast internet infrastructure, uh, enhanced security and hosting infrastructure, and that we just have a savvy workforce is the perfect sweet spot for a SaaS warehouse management solution. So let's define what SaaS is. So um, software as a service. Uh, there's four major components of a software as a service offering. And, um, and there's some nuances here too, so I want to cover those. 
First, uh, SAS is delivered via the web, and it's access, accessed via a browser. Um, so um, that means anybody with a computer anywhere in the world can have access to that software program if they have permission and security levels. Uh, a SaaS offering is multi-tenant, which means it's a centrally hosted system that it has more than one company hosted on it. Um, this is a really important point because what this gives is a very big economies of scale. Um, not only gives it the web connectivity, but it allows one deployment to be used for multiple tenants. And by doing so, it significantly reduces costs. Um, another component of a SaaS offering is that you pay for only what you use. Whether you activate the features, whether you only have one or two users on the system, but you only pay for what you use on the system, whether it's features, whether it's in the world of warehouse management, additional warehouses or additional customers, a variety of different um, models of how do you pay for it, but you only pay for what you use. And as you go, you pay as you go also. So not only do you pay for what you use, but you pay as a subscription. Meaning, if your business goes up or down, uh, you would only pay for as, as you go along. If you decide to close your business or close a warehouse, you only pay for the features you use or, or the, and the time frame that you use it. So those four major components of SaaS are really important because there's, um, there's things that are sometimes mistaken for SaaS and, that's, and, and that, that's not an accurate, uh, it's not accurate in the marketplace. You can also use the term on-demand software or web-based software for SaaS offerings, but sometimes those don't, don't have all the elements that a pure SaaS play does. So uh, not, and it's real important that it's not, not to be mistaken for what the early days an ASP or an application service provider would provide is what, what an ASP model is, is um, a, hosted, a hosted instance of an application. So say you're running a warehouse management system or you're running SAP, uh, somebody says, you know what, I don't want to do that in my own facility. I want to host it remotely using a hosting company. They take that same deployment as an individual deployment and put it out on the web. Now, yes, it's web-based and accessible via a browser, which is number one in many cases. It does not meet the functionality for number two because it's not multi-tenant. And usually you don't pay a subscription for that. Usually you pay a lease or you pay an ongoing monthly fee, but truly you're locked into it. Um, the, the big differentiator in the situ situation for an ASP is that it's not multi-tenant and that you're locked into that cost. And again, not to be mistaken for somebody leasing hardware and software, which basically gives you the payment structure and spreads payments out, which gives you a perception of a, or a subscription met, uh, kind of payment structure but you're still liable for that full amount of a fifty or hundred thousand dollars warehouse management system. The, may, having software as a service and for WMS specifically, um, an ASP or a leased hardware model, they're still out there. People are still deploying software, and um, those, those you'll learn more about what the benefits are. But many of these might solve one or two of the have one or two of the components, but don't give you the full benefit of what a SaaS offering does. So some of the benefits of a SaaS offering are that you don't have to purchase servers or software to support it. Uh, you can allow that money to be used, one, to your bottom line, or to focus on new services or products or uh, you know a new forklift. You have no upfront capital with SaaS. It's only a monthly obligation or subscription. Um, you don't have to worry about scaling up or down. That's the responsibility of software service offering is inherently scalable uh, based on the hosting platform and how it's, how it's architected usually. Um, that there's worldwide support, so that means you're not dropping in via VPNs or other things worldwide. Rapid product improvements, multi-tenancy has efficiency, no long-term contracts, and upgrade fees. So there's a lot of, lot of benefits to SaaS, including the flexibility and the scalability of SaaS, but those are the benefits of SaaS which aren't available when you purchase software, as, as a, specifically in the WMS, or even purchase and have it hosted as an ASP or a, um, a hosted model. Um, it's still not getting all the benefits that are listed here on the page. So a quote from our white paper, on-demand WMS is the ultimate solution for 3PL, 3PL's business model 
instance, it reduces the high upfront setup costs associated with deployed WMS and it is paired with the pay-as-you-go needs, which align with 3PL's revenue. So one of the big benefits of SaaS is that this pay-as-you-go is exactly aligned with 3PL's. So there's a lot of other SaaS software. The most famous one is uh, Salesforce.com, which charges per user um, for access to a CRM package. The, um, the model's great. As your business grows, you, you, you pay for additional users, and that, that works out great. The one downside to that situation is that um, uh, the, the business model of your business might grow a, as a custom company, but that doesn't affect you. Just because you added an employee and somebody in accounting doesn't mean that you increased your revenues or had a new customer. With SaaS WMS, if priced properly, it should align with how your opera, how your business is growing, new features and new functions. As you need them, you add them. As you take them away, you should be able to take them away also from the subscription. So let's walk through those seven perfect fit reasons. First, the pay-as-you-go pricing model, as I just was mentioning. You can add and remove product modules as you need. You can add and remove warehouses or customers. Basically, what you do is you pay for only thing what you what you use, and most importantly, that the infrastructure costs are shared across your customer base. And then, and this is a real big differentiator, is as your business grows and you need new features, a good example is the EDI integration, integration with shopping cart for one customer. Maybe you're not shipping to Walmart today, but you have a new customer that comes on and needs Walmart shipping. That right away um, would be could be a new feature. So you don't need to pay for it right away, but you would pay for it down the road same way as barcode scanning, small parcel shipping, whatever it may be um, a SaaS WMS might offer, those are kind of the add-on features that um, you have available and you can say yes to win new business and demonstrate that you can do it, but you don't start paying for it until you really need it. The second um, uh, perfect fit reason is that there's a low set of costs and low ongoing costs. Because a SaaS WMS um, is again centrally hosted. There's no hardware or software to buy. You have no special networking needs, and this is a significant small cost that sounds like it's not that big a deal. But a hundred, a couple hundred bucks for VPNs per month to connect facilities specifically, or to privately connect you to a uh, one of your customers' host systems, is it get, becomes very costly. And um, the idea that you don't have to buy hardware or software and that hosting costs are actually shared across customers, it becomes incredibly cost effective and a very low setup and low, very low ongoing costs for a SaaS offering. And for a SaaS WMS offering, you can, it could be based on a variety of criteria. It could be per user, it could be per company, it could be per transaction, it could be per service use. So there's a lot of different pricing models out there. Um, uh, I can, I'll t explain what, how we do it, but it, the more important thing is that you, this should be able to align with your business and align with how your business adds products and adds customers. That's the big benefit here. So one of the one of the big one of the examples of when you look at SaaS versus in-house, and this around the subscription of setup and ongoing subscription fees, is how quickly your uh, ROI and measurable benefit is, and what's the total cost of ownership. So at the bottom line, the red line, I know this is a busy slide, is a service provider, basically meaning um, it's a SaaS or hosted provider solution. This is an older slide, 2003, so they're not using SaaS as the term. Um, but it is a SaaS slide about the ROI for SaaS. The, uh, the blue line, which is the, the line above, is the in-house. And basically, the two things that are circled are the most important things. Within six months, a SaaS offering starts having measurable productivity gains um, and uh, and you being able to see it while an in-house or a deployed system would be six to 12 months at the earliest but as you can see the the difference in cost is significant the difference in cost is almost two times the difference in cost when you get 200 times the difference 174 times the difference within three months I'm sorry within three years 36 months because at three years that's usually a typical point where you need to start update, upgrading not just your software, but your, it's not even included on this chart, is the hardware cost 
and to uh, and you need to upgrade usually underlying databases too when you upgrade a software upgrade. That is all handled for you with SaaS. When you when they deploy a, a SaaS update, all the customers get that update, and immediately when you do an update on technology, it stays current. So it's no cost to the three PL for that. The third um, but perfect for fit reason is a fast deployment and setup. Because there's no hardware and software to purchase, you shift from this idea that you have to install something and installing software, which means loading disks and in many cases loading hardware and loading, loading other equipment and possibly VPNs and networks and all that stuff. You shift from that installation to an idea that you're configuring a system. The shift from installation configuration sounds really kind of a um, real minor, but it's not. It's a very significant difference that you're no longer focused on getting the software running. Software is usually running up and running within a day for our, for our customers. What happens is that you're now focused on um, configuration of that software, which means that you don't have long consulting contracts, process flows. With a SaaS offering, you can get up and running quickly. You can try something out quickly. And you can quickly demonstrate and get that productivity gain really quick. Um, typical setup for SAS WMS is weeks, not months, and in some cases even days. So for that configuration. Fourth perfect, perfect fit reason is that you have full control as a 3PL. With a SAS offering, the objective of the SAS company is to minimize customer service calls and get, empower the customer to do what they need to do. And this is true for all SAS applications. In the terms of SAS WMS, there's a significant benefit to both the 3PL and a customer supplier, and this is, has a direct relationship to minimizing operating costs. That direct relationship to minimizing operating costs is a 3PL no longer, if you have a deployed system or somebody built a system, when you go to add a warehouse or add a customer or add a new billing function, um, that many, many, many customers, don't, many, many systems necessitate having somebody from the software company do that for you. And that's not true for SaaS. And from a customer standpoint, the ability to have, be self-sufficient with reports, and I'll, I'll cover this in a little bit, and be able to have visibility and, more importantly, interact with the system in real time uh, gives a customer or supplier a sense uh, and, and full self-sufficiency, too. Those two, those, those two things, uh, the ability for a customer to look up things, and the ability for a 3PL to configure and add and make modifications to the system significantly minimizes operating costs. It feels like it's not something significant, but when you start adding up a lot of these little things, um, especially in a dynamic and r rapidly changing environment, which is a 3PL, you're able to react quickly with a SaaS offering, and you are you're avoid that reliance on outside consultants to add a warehouse, add a customer, add a user, whatever it may be. So uh, SAS WMS provides these types of benefits very quickly and for you to have your own control your own fate in your business, which is really important because as a 3PL and as an employee of a 3PL in the past, 3PLs don't just work you know, 9 to 5. It's 24 hours and sometimes, sometimes it's weekends, sometimes you're doing stuff over the weekend, logging into a system at the office or driving into the office when you can do something from home, SAS WMS allows you to do that or even when you're traveling. One of those benefits I was just touched upon is this real-time global visibility, which is the, the, the fifth perfect fit reason. The idea of having and the ability to have real-time accurate information anytime, anywhere in the world, all you need is an internet browser, internet access. Again, worldwide internet access is very reliable, and in some countries even more reliable than uh, North America. Um, we have customers around the world that have a very reliable um, internet infrastructure. Um, allows customers and customers' customers or reps or sales reps or even management to have a real-time global visibility. So that real-time accurate information, web-based access to reporting for customers and 3PLs, and the ability to place an order or create a receipt via what we call a customer portal here at 3PL Central, but a customer interface within any system, allows you to, um, as a 3PL, to to give the tools that gives global visibility, but also allows you to cut operating costs if your customer is entering their orders manually, or letting you know when a receipt's coming in, 
or even a customer warehouse uh, or a factory warehouse letting you know what's on a shipment coming in. So a couple of the two, inter the two main interfaces for, um, uh, for, for system re 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 this real-time global visibility is uh, a real-time reports engine, uh, both for internal and external users, and an open API, which allows system-to-system -system communication to find out exactly what's happening within the 3PL and uh, track tracking numbers and integrate that type of information back into uh, an existing system. The sixth provides even greater detail on this visibility. Um, the number six perfect fit reason is automatic email alert. Uh, there's, there's, there's two key elements for a SaaS offering that a specific, specifically a SaaS WMS offering should have um, when, it, when it comes to email alerts. First, it should be automatically sent based on a system activity. You don't want your employees as a 3PL doing something um, uh, specific, uh, doing something different for different customers. You want to be able to follow your same workflow and based on whatever that employee does for customer A or customer B, certain customers get notifications, certain customers don't get notifications. The notification that they get should be customizable. So that you handling your best practice workflow and you're con maintaining that across all your customers and then allowing the system to automatically send email alerts when that customer was asking for it is the ideal scenario. Also, you want to make sure that you have a, a notification of both successful and failed transactions. So it's not just uh, successful things happening, you know, things happening well, like, hey, I received this product or, hey, I shipped this shipment. Uh, you also want to know when something, an exception happens. For example, a good example of an exception would be um, uh, if an FTP uh, connection failed. So if an order tried to be sent in and something failed, a notification could be sent out. So some example email alerts that uh, I broke down by both 3PL users, which would be your users, um, or customer users. A 3PL email alert would be when an order is placed by a customer. So when an order is placed by a customer, you might not have entered it in, so you need to understand that there's workflow there so that you would handle that. Or, as I mentioned, FTP or EDI connections failures. On the customer side, customer users, uh, what, you, what you're doing, what you do for a customer user is that um, uh, they might want to see an email alert for a receipt. Um, they might want to be notified when an item or location has a minimum or when an order ships. All those things would be um, something that uh, a customer would want to get an email alert about. The seventh and the, the, the one I think is the most powerful um, uh, element of the um, or most powerful uh, perfect fit reason is the power of the network, or what we're calling the network effect. And um, just to demonstrate the met network effect, um, there's something called Metcast law, which talks about the addition of an additional user on a network grows uh, the value of that network exponentially. And let me show you the example of this. So with a telephone, when you have two phones, you have one, you know, two phones and one connection. And so that, that, there's a typo on this page. Let's correct that. There should be two phones and one connection. There we go. Oops. So two phones and you have one connection. When you have five phones, again, this, there's an exponential growth of who, which those phone call, which, which those phones can individually, who those phones can individually call, and it adds the value of the network. There's now ten possible connections when you add one, when you add four more. Or th I'm sorry, three more phones. You you go from one potential connection to to ten potential connections, and it it multiplies even more significantly, showing twelve here. You have sixty six potential connections. So the the value of the network of adding one uh, node on the network uh, grows that network exponentially, and uh, it's a very very powerful um, network effect, especially as a three PL. It's really powerful as a 3PL, and the reason why it's really powerful as a 3PL is that 3PLs don't just do one thing at a time, right? The, the power is that something that you do as a 3PL might be repeated someplace else. And I'm going to give you some examples of that. And the idea is the more nodes or the more connections, or more importantly, the more people that have um, participated or purchased the 3PLs um, 
WMS system, um, the more powerful that network becomes very quickly and exponentially. So some of the power of the network is to reuse features or reuse integrations or reuse documents. So let me give you three examples of the key reuse areas um, that a SAS WMS specifically for 3PLs um, would benefit from. First, there's reusable features. So once when you add a feature or a report, for example, for one customer or one 3PL within a SAS WMS, it's immediately applicable to all 3PLs. So if they deploy it, if the SAS WMS provider deploys it and makes it available to all one, one, one player, it usually is available to all suppliers, all, all 3PLs. What that means is as you add 3PLs, and more importantly, and that adds exponential value, and then when you add additional, um, not just 3PLs, but when you add um, 3PL customers, each customer has their own unique needs. But once you add one, you have additional, even more powerful network. The idea, the network effect is as you add a feature, that the product is getting fast, getting better much more fast than if you had deployed the product and deployed a SaaS w, a, a WMS just within your, in, in your four walls because within your four walls you only have the coverage of whatever your customers need. The idea that you have the, the, the additional exposure and additional requests from all these other 3PLs and, in, and even more so from all their customers, uh, you get reusable features that are very accelerated. So your enhancements to the system is usually very accelerated. The second key enhancement area is that you can reuse our integrations. So Two, two of the ones that we're really always involved in is EDI and e-commerce. Small shop parcel shipping is a good example too. Once you integrate with a new e-commerce engine, um, you will, and we have like, for example, a company called Volusion is just an example. Once you integrate with that company once, you immediately have that, that integration and that capability for all the 3PLs and all the 3PL customers. So there's two things, and this goes back to that very one of the very first slides, is having that capability is all in great, but what that does is it allows you to win more business as a 3PL. When somebody walks in and says, hey, one of the requirements of having my business is to have this e-commerce engine, and if you don't have Volusion integration, we can't support it, up to this point, you would never have even thought about it. Based on the power of the network and adding it for somebody else, you get gain that benefit for that across for, for, for any of your new business opportunities. And that's true for EDI, when you, our, our partners in the EDI are SPS Commerce, DI Central, and Spring Systems. When you add a functionality, either a new retailer or even the connection with one of these service providers, it's an exponential growth and a, immediately available. So those integrations are very available. And that's the real power of the network is these integration points. And I'll show I have a slide later on on those. And then finally is reusable documents and labels. Once you do a label for Walmart, a retailer compliant UCC 128 label for Walmart, it's reusable. It's the same label no matter who's, what supplier it is and whether it ships from California or Nebraska, it doesn't matter. Same with a VIX bill of lading, a standard bill of lading, it's the same, but whether in your Washington DC, Florida, or Oregon. Having reusable labels and documents is of something else that allows that network effect that once it's built for one customer, it's avail available to all customers when you're deploying a SaaS WMS. The power of the network is just the most exciting part of SaaS WMS. So, part kind of bringing it down to why 3PL Central. So this is the shameless plug, but covering those seven reasons, why even talk to 3PL Central? First, we're only focused on 3PLs. Second, we support the seven feet perfect fit reasons with multi-tenant SaaS. We have all the core functionality 3PL needs, including billing management, email alerts, customer portals, uh, some of the stuff we covered, some of we didn't in this, because some of them aren't the only benefits of SaaS, some of them are features. Uh, that we have an ever-growing ecos ecosystem of partners and integrations, and I'll show you a slide on the next slide that shows that, and that we price very reasonably. We start at $495 per month per warehouse, and uh, when you have need additional features, it's available to you. If you don't need them, you never pay for them. So, uh, uh, and that we support 3PLs of all sizes. We have startups to very large 3PLs, all using our system and all very happy with it. So, so there's a white paper for more details on having a specific uh, 
uh, specifically the key features, or um, more importantly, to download the white paper that details the, the, the same presentation. You can download it here, and if you need that, you can we'll follow up with that link too. And kind of to demonstrate that ecosystem is, for example, here's the Volusion is a good one of the mentions, uh, one of the e-commerce engines I, I mentioned before. When we add, add a Volusion to 3PL Central's integration, it's now uh, not just a hub and spoke, it's that network effect. So when we add a Volusion, we now have thousands of merchants that now can use Volusion. Same with Zuvi as an e-commerce engine. Same with uh, EDI providers or technology providers. So when we add a functionality or, or compatibility from any of these uh, vendors, that the ecosystem that you are able to rapidly benefit from them as, as a customer or partner of 3PL Centrals. And the value, interesting enough, there's a lot of value both to these partners too, whether it's a, a e-commerce shopping cart provider or EDI providers, uh, these providers are very interested in having access to this network because they now are pre-wired. There's very low cost for them to add another customer, and more importantly, uh, the customers are coming to them as part of this network. So there's benefits on both sides of it. So to summarize, uh, SaaS WMS aligns with your 3PL's web revenue floor, flow. When business is up and you need a second facility, you pay for that second facility with 3PL Central or whomever, uh, depending on how the bill pricing model is. Uh, when your business is down or you don't need a, that additional feature, you turn it off. A subscription model and having the ability to turn on and off features have, have significant uh, benefit, and uh, it's one of the uh, real, one of the seven, seven perfect reasons why SAS WMS is perfectly fit, fitted for it. Also that uh, SAS WMS has a lot of flexibility. So you have flexibility for the requirements to turn on and turn off things that you don't do or don't need. And most importantly, SAS WMS provides immediately, immediate ROI. Uh, you, it says within six months, our, our customers see it even quicker than that. So uh, the ability to um, quickly deploy a system, even if it's just for one customer or for your whole customer base, um, and immediately provide uh, visibility to that customer, minimize expenses for you for manual data to enter and things like that, will will have a significant input impact on your business. So at this point, I'd like to open it up for questions and answers. Uh, you can open up your control panel again by clicking up on that the, the double arrows there. And uh, you can ask questions by uh, clicking on the questions box right there in your control panel and uh, uh, typing in a question. Let me see if any questions have come in. So. I have a feeling some people are typing right now. Let me cover some of the questions that came in. A question came in, um, let me read it real slowly. Pricing by, this is from, uh, this is from Sally. Uh, pricing by feature is very interesting. Uh, how does 3PL do it? That's a great question. So, um, so our base price, we start at $495 uh, per month, Sally. And um, as you need features, for example, integration with UPS or FedEx, or, uh, or EDI capabilities, uh, those would be additional charges uh, within the 3PL system. And when you add a second warehouse, you would, um, you would, uh, you would have another $495 fee. And by doing so, that what this does is it aligns 3PL Central's interests with your interests. Uh, we also have a, cust a per customer cost um, because uh, we like being able to make sure that you're as your business grows, we're aligned to help grow your business too. So we get take active roles in pitching new business for 3PLs um, as serving as their IT department. And uh, so as your business grows, um, there's a nominal fee um, to us, and that keeps us aligned and keeps uh, both companies um, both focused on the target, which is helping you as a 3PL grow, Sally. So it's a good question. Thank you very much. I think that was the last question. Well, uh, I think yep, that's, I think that's the last question. Unless somebody's typing right now, 
I want to thank you all for uh, attending for today's session, SAS WMS for 3PLs, Seven Perfect Fit Reasons. We, I recommend you take advantage of SAS WMS for your business as a 3PL and look at it. And uh, we hope uh, 3PL Central is on that short list too. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of the day.